Well, today is certainly the kind of day to think about escaping winter. Minnesota Sun Country Airlines recently announced new destinations to help you do just that. It plans to operate 120 routes serving more than 90 airports by this summer. Sun Country calls itself a new breed of hybrid low cost air carrier. It's the vision of relatively new leadership, but it took a lot of changes to get there. Sun Country Airlines is poised to take off with more aircraft, more crew members, and by February, it will be flying to 12 different destinations in Florida alone. Jude Brinker is the CEO, which could stand for Chief Enthusiasm Officer. I can't think of a time where I've been more excited about the airline I was working for than right now at Sun Country. Brinker landed the job in 2017. While he's excited these days, he says the pandemic came close to grounding the hometown carrier for good. There were three moments in time where it was near death experiences for us through that COVID experience. Revenue dropped from record highs to near zero. Did you think you were going to lose the airline? There were times when that was probably when I was, yeah. But Brinker had an idea. They removed the seats from passenger planes and began operating as a cargo carrier for Amazon, just as people went crazy ordering online. If you're outside the industry to take a passenger airline and make it a cargo airline in a period of 12 months is amazing. That's not, I didn't do that. These, these guys all around this hangar did that and it, it's, it was amazing. Things weren't so sunny coming out of COVID though. The rapid surge in travelers last spring left airlines scrambling to rapidly ramp up flights and left many passengers high and dry. And just hours and hours of being on hold, being on the phone, not knowing, you know, it was just absolute stress and chaos. Since then, Sun Country has upgraded its systems and call center and the pilots have a new contract. Who knew they could open the cockpit window and wipe away a smudge? Ramp and maintenance personnel also earn competitive wages now, according to Brinker. But the real challenge comes with understanding the essence of this unique airline. Sun Country experiences a dramatic surge in the winter and over spring break. You're kind of like a normal airline yeah. for a few months out of the year, and then you're like an airline on steroids. Yeah, exactly. I don't even know how the no, best that's way That's exactly to... right. I mean, we're an airline designed for the Minnesota traveler. So when school starts in September and business goes way down, Sun Country finds other ways to pay the bills, like flying the Gopher football team, major league soccer teams, and military personnel. It's complicated. You run a complicated airline. Yeah, every day is different than every other day, and that's that's what I keep telling the guys here. This is what's going to differentiate us, but it's also going to make us long-term successful because it's so hard to do, no one else can do it. Having a big hangar for maintenance helps. So all 737s. That's right, so we have uh, 54 airplanes. Uh, of those, 53 of them are 800s. Of those 53, 12 of them are cargo airplanes. But what's going on inside these planes is what's important to most passengers. Brinker eliminated first class and still hears about that from some travelers. Though the most sensitive topic is paying for fees on top of the plane ticket. If everything was included, the fare would be very high. Some people don't want to have a bag. Some people would rather save money. Some people don't want to choose their seat. They would rather save money. Sun Country has been in business 40 years now, and Brinker says over those four decades, they've stayed true to their Minnesota roots. We're small enough that I can know most of my employees. They can, you know, it's like a family here. It's, it's a really special, something really special. We'll, we'll grow out of that like all companies do, um, but it's just a really fun place right now. It's, it's really nice. Sounds like you're really proud of it. Yeah, I am. I'm proud of my people and I'm proud of, I'm proud of what they've been able to accomplish for sure. Uh, Brinker told me he thinks Sun Current is going to be about 50% larger in 2023 than the carrier was in 2019. He also says the best part of coming in and making these changes is he didn't really have to change the culture at all. That was in place and he thought it was great. He just had to change a lot of the operations and they've done that sure. significantly. And they're a public corporation now. Uh, you know, we've had 40 years of uh, family ownership in different pockets, and it's a much different operation. It is. And you said there was something else kind of non-conventional during the COVID times that uh, they had to turn to. Oh, we what, didn't get to see in the story, right? That did, did? Yeah. So, you know, so one, he had time and two, he had, to, you know, he had to act like a bit of a cheerleader to, to help people out. So <laughs> he actually went out and got uh, certified as a flight attendant. So he, he wanted to, to see how they did their thing. And 
He literally can go ahead and do it. He says he's not good at it like they are, and he really respects his flight attendants. But um, he got certified, and occasionally he'll go out and do it. And I'm like, I'm like, you're the non undercover undercover yeah. boss. And Does he, he actually it, hit the hit the air? Not as this. often as he used to, but yeah, he's okay. he's actually served and worked some flights, and he has a lot of respect for me. He's like, these are the greatest multitaskers and in the world. And you wouldn't even know who's grabbing you. You're ginger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about the CEO <laughs> serving you? A, I'll take a diet coke. Yeah. <laughs>